three weeks before the big grudge match on the 15th of December, Tony Oki and the pick of Portsmouth's boxing talent practice their entrance at the Mountbatten Centre, where Oki takes on Jeff Left Hook Lacey in the big rematch. It's going to be quite a night. OK, well, we're in the absence of uh, Jeff Left Hook Lacey. We're here to talk with promoter Matt Crouch and with Tony Oki in your hometown. And it's not too far away now, this big fight here at the Mountbatten. How are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I've, you know, I've had really load of good nights here. I'm really looking forward to the fight. I've got to shut Jeff up, you know, once and for all. He's doing my head in. <laughs> well, you saw the interview I did with him uh, via FaceTime uh, a couple of weeks ago, and he was, again, saying that he never lost the first fight. Um, I'm sure you'd like to put him right on that, wouldn't you? Well, he, do you know what? I respect him. He's a two-time world champion. You don't achieve what he's achieved in boxing, you know, if you're not something special. And he is, and he deserves all that credit. But the way he's talking... The injury in the first fight, which yes, he did. He lost every round leading up to that, but he's totally dismissed that. He's not even taken that into account that the first four rounds I wiped the floor with him and then he got his injury. So now, December 15th, we'll put the argument to bed. Do you think this man will do it, or what, how do you think the fight will go, Matt? I'm staying on the fence. <laughs> um, I believe um, it could be a repeat of the last time. Um, I do believe. Tony can't be any better, but I believe Jeff can be better. Um, and, you know, as everyone's seen, um, it's, it's all well documented on Facebook and social media. This guy's left no stone unturned. I can't see the same for Jeff because um, he won't put up any footage. So, And yet he's saying, all the reports he's saying on social media is that he's as fit as he's ever been. And yeah. uh, do, do, So you're not sure whether to believe that or not? Um, I believe him. Um, he's... Um, he did say he only trained two, two and a half, three weeks for the last bout. He underestimated me as a promoter and or the size of the shows. Tony is a, f a fighter. Um, but, you know, he's, he's instructed some good um, sparring partners, I believe, and he's got um, all-time great Roy Jones' cousin training him. Who's, um, what's his name? Marvin. Marvin Jones. That's it. He says yeah. Marvin every time we yeah. put a comment. Marvin Jones. <laughs> Marvin! So, um, so, okay, He's coming so, for a win, and I must stress this: is winner takes all. So uh, for anyone who don't don't know this, whoever wins goes home with double the bubble. Yeah, whoever loses goes home with nothing. I was uncomfortable. Tony was also half uncomfortable, but Jeff insisted this being stated in the contract. So he's coming. Okay. He, is, he is coming. That was going to be my next question to Tony. Uh, does this mean that the war will be even more intense because you know you've got to win, otherwise you you, you go home with nothing? No, war's war, isn't it? You know, you've got to win. There's, there's one winner and there's one loser. There's nothing more intense. And either way, I'm, I'm going to win, he's going to lose. You know, that's, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to win. And I know Jeff's saying that he's exactly the same. And you've got, you know, you've got to believe him because of what he's achieved. What I don't get is how he's completely dismissed what went on in the first fight. But then December 15th, the argument's going to be put to bed and he's going to be getting on the plane skin. It's a long way home to Florida on a plane when you've earned nothing, isn't it? Oh, it is, but, you, you know, he's the one that did say, you know, because I actually said when Matt said about winner takes all, I said, is that really fair? You know, I'm going by the last fight and I'm going by myself, how much I believe in myself. Is that really going to be fair, him going home with no money? But he's insisted on it, I've agreed on it. So it, now it's just the fact of just getting the fight out of the way and doing the decider. OK, we look forward to it. should be great. It would be a cracking one, as my fights always are. And also, there is a £1,000 knockout bonus up for offers, all right? OK. So, yeah. Well, there we are. There's an yeah. incentive, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's Christmas, man. I call it more presents for the kids. <laughs>